Hello. Um, this is a video for people who are having a problem renaming their plugins uh, when they download them. So, say you download a plugin. Let's take one of the plugins. Um, let's say we have sneaky receive. Oops. Um, so we have sneaky receive. And when you download it, it's going to look like this. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's really easy. You just click on it, go to the end, delete the .txt part, and press enter, and say keep txt. Or, whoops. <laughs> keep the amxd part. <laughs> That's the part you want to keep. So let's go over that again. Say it says .txt. And it's an AMXD or an ensemble file. You just delete the .txt part and use AMXD. Let's go over it with one of the reactor patches. So you have this .txt. It's going to look like this when you download it. Go to the end. Take that part off. Use ensemble. And you'll see the ensemble file. Now, say you don't have like the endings, like it's not viewable or something on your computer. It's still really easy. You can go to the terminal and you go ls to see where you are, and then you go cd desktop or wherever the fuck your thing is. LS will show you all the files on the desktop. Our particular folder is called ALFS. That's fucking stupid folder name. So let's type that in. Or actually, let me even do it one step easier. Let's go CD and then grab your file and put it in here, wherever your thing is. And that'll take you to the folder with the stuff in, and then you hit ls to show the files in there. You can go ls.l, this will show you them this way. And now if you want to change the name, then you go mv, uh, and here again, you can take your file name drop it in just like that and you can go this drop it in just one more time and then just delete the .txt part and away you go and it will change it to .ens and the same goes for the windows shell which i will make well actually i'll get back to you in a second when i can boot into a windows computer okay so say you're on a Windows computer, open the command prompt. I'm going to here and type command prompt in. This Windows computer is slow as fuck, so just bear with me here. So let's go dir first of all to see where we are. Enter. And it looks like the desktop is right there, so let's go desktop. And so you have a file there that's called um, fancy filter dot ens dot txt. <clears throat> okay, so we have our file here, right? This is our one that's called fancy filter dot ens dot txt, and we want to rename it. We just use fuck. 
this handy tutorial. We just do, we use the rename command. So we say REN and then fancy filter dot ENS dot TXT to, oops, whatever the fuck it's called, TXT to fancy filter dot ENS, oops, ENS, and that will rename our file to Dot ENS. Now say you had a bunch of these files. Let's just generate a couple of them. Maybe I did here. Oh, unless my connection gets fucked. Yeah, start my can start menu. 3D builder. Great. Yeah. Fuck. What the fuck happened to that? Yeah, sweet. Okay. Cool. So say we have a bunch of <clears throat> the ensemble files uh, in a folder, right? So let's just generate a couple of, a couple of them. No. Um, uh, dot ENS TXT copy no dot ENS TXT copy no dot ENS dot TXT. Okay, so we've got three of these files dot blah 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 dot ENST. So then we can use the rename file um, with the wildcard thing. And we just go rename anything dot ENS dot txt to anything dot txt. Oh, no, not dot txt, sorry. <laughs> dot <laughs> ENS and that should take all of these files that you can see here let's see one pop window if it moves so we've got these one this one this one everything that's got dot ENS dot txt and it's going to rename them to just dot ENS we press enter and away we go did it work we'll find out soon Yeah, so this one's dot ENS. This one's also an ENS file. This one's also an ENS file. Cool? So that's pretty straightforward. And I believe in here you can do the same thing where, like, say you have your folder somewhere far deeper in your file system, and you can go CD space and then I think you can do this yeah so that'll take you right to the folder that you have where your where your files are cool so that's that it's all you gotta do thanks